I'm Matt Willis, Public Health Officer from Marin County, with a status update for January 24th, 2022. One of the most important questions on everyone's mind right now is where are we relative to the Omicron surge? As you can imagine, our teams look at the numbers very closely every day. I want to share with you what we look at and what we're seeing. The first observation is good news. Our assessment is the crest of the Omicron wave is behind us in terms of the amount of virus circulating in our community. There are three important data, pa eight data points that we look at to answer that general question of how active is the virus in Marin. First is case rates. In the first week of January, we were seeing on average 420 new cases per day. Today, we're seeing 280 cases daily on average, which is a 38% reduction over that two week period. Second, we look at wastewater. Marin County was one of the first counties to engage in wastewater sampling, and we we're measuring the amount of virus flowing from four large catchment areas in Marin. Taken together, these cover 75% of our population. In three of the four areas, we see clear signs that the peak was about two weeks ago. Wastewater sampling will be an important tool ongoing because it's less prone to bias of case rates and doesn't rely on people getting tested and reporting the results to public health. Instead, it directly measures the amount of virus present in the community. Finally, we look at test percent positivity. That is the fraction of tests that are positive. Over the past two weeks, the fraction of people getting tested who were found to be infected has dropped as well. So these are all direct indicators of the amount of transmission at the community level. Then we look elsewhere to see how this relates to other parts of the world. There we see another correlation where the timing and the shape of our curve have been characteristic of other areas that experienced Omicron surges before we did, of a rapid increase over a short period of time, followed by a plateau and a decrease. So that's why I'm confident that the peak of our surge is behind us. It's important to note that rates are still extremely high and the decline is not rapid. We're not seeing the dramatic drop seen elsewhere. We could see, in fact, more overall cases on the decline side of the surge than we did on the upswing. We're still seeing, on average, more than 280 new cases per day. Remember, prior to the Omicron surge, our highest single day in Marin was 176 cases. In most ways, the Omicron surge has progressed as we had anticipated in mid-December when our first cases were detected. We recognize the inevitability of a significant surge in cases and that, by and large, cases would be milder, especially in our highly vaccinated community. We anticipated that we would see an increase in hospitalizations and even a few deaths among unvaccinated and undervaccinated pe people especially in those who are most medically fragile. But we also predicted that the overall rates of serious illness would be significantly lower than in past surges. And for vaccinated and boosted residents who are otherwise healthy, the risk of being hospitalized is extremely low, even if the risk of being infected is not. We're signaling that there's a reason for optimism because Omicron has at least plateaued and is now declining. If this trend continues, the state will likely consider lifting restrictions in the coming weeks, but it's too early to celebrate. Any Marin County hiker knows that it's as easy to make a misstep on the way down from the peak as it is on the way up. Our schools have remained open to classroom-based learning. Our hospitals are stable and can manage the current caseloads. So let's keep it that way by staying the course for the next couple of weeks. Thank you for doing your part.